Hi viewers, this is Rajesh from Indusage. Uh, we have a new budding uh, star from India, Deep Sindhu, who's launching his film, first movie, Ramta Jogi. Welcome to Australia. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me over on your show. This is the first trip to Australia to promote your film, Ramta Jogi. How do you feel in Australia? I just landed last night and um, you know the first impression is really really good. I like the weather here. I like the people here. They're very warm and um, excited to be here to meet my own people. This is your first film. Tell us something about your background. What made you go into this industry and uh, what tempted you to do this role? Um, I come from Punjab. I was born in Punjab, but I studied um, all the time outside. And, um, you know, I was a sports person to begin with. Then I wanted to join an army, para, para commandos, because always into fitness and that sort used to excite me quite a bit. But unfortunately, there was, a, there was some um, death in the family. He was part of the paras only, so people, uh, like my family members, never and they were never in for it so then i started pursue uh, pursued my sports career i played for indian team basketball and then started a little bit of modeling and that's how i became part of entertainment business so i won grassa mr india mr personality mr talented then i won um, the kingfisher model hunt for the west zone of india and then i did some ramp shows in bombay and uh, in the meantime, I was studying, I mean, simultaneously, and then passed my law, then studied from, uh, did my solicitors from London. And uh, then one fine day, it was just that I was working out with Sunny Sir, and we, I was coming out of the gym, and the Dharamji, Dharamji was sitting there, and then he called me. He's like, a um, film crony in Tirto. And it was just that moment when it came into my head and I was like, if he said that, I'll, 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 I'll do it now. Because that you need a little bit of encouragement and that spark. So once you get that, believe me, after that things can really change and then it can happen. So there we are with Ramta Jogi today. This is your first film. And... Uh how different is this film from the other films where Newcomer has been launched? Um, uh, sir, uh, honestly, I'll tell you, it's, I don't know about how different it is, but yes, the company which is presenting it, Vijeta Films, and which is Dharamji, Sunny Sir, Bob, I mean, what better can I ask for? And this is like a dream. And they, they all are legends. And within the the legend, all the legends, there's this company Vijeta Film, and it is their first Punjabi film, so which is a dream launch in a in a in a way. And I'm I'm really really amazed and shocked, and I'm so happy to be associated with this uh, film and project. They had a lot of star cast in Vijeta Films, like Bobby, Sunny, and all of them, and they have selected you. They must have seen something, uh, some spark in you that they, ha they, are, they are launching a new phase in their own production. And uh, what do you have to say on that? I mean, more than that, I'll, I'll tell you, sir. I mean, I, they are all hard people. So once they're convinced that somebody is putting in hard work, that they're convinced that somebody is really passionate about what he wants to do, they'll stand by you. Once they like you, they'll stand by you. Then, you know, what do you have, what do you don't? It's, it's not a calculation or it's not a calculative mind sitting, whether Sunny Sir or Dharamji, they won't do that. They, they will just see your hard work and a good human being and he has passion. Okay, let's do it. Back him up. Can you give me a few highlights, maybe three, four or five highlights of your movie, which uh, you think is one of the USP of this film, Ramta Jogi? Of course, I mean, that way I can give you 10. <laughs> I mean, we have, we have I'll be happy if you can give 10 I because... Can, I can absolutely give you 10. I mean, we have, um, you know, a lot to highlight in the film. See, it's a love story which has not been made in Punjab. It's, it's a very intense love story where the girl and a boy are deeply in love. 
and uh, it's about youngsters it's about that um, period when they cannot communicate to their families and then you know they start feeling for like they start falling in love and then they feel for each other but you know unfortunately or fortunately Such the way. culture is there is a bit of communication gap between the parents and uh, and kids in our culture back there that they cannot share these things so openly that i have a, i'm dating a person and then on top of it if a girl comes from a go good well off background and a guy is from a humble background so that is again a problem they won't see they won't see what is he earning whether he'll be able to take care of a, a daughter but then you know even they go back what the family is and what you know where they come from and all that is because media is always a reflection of society so we've tried to deal with these issues but apart from that music is really really good because since it is a love story we have a good music rahat saab has sung a song then uh, we have uh, sukhvinder has sung the title song then javed bashir ji has sung a qawali then lab janjua ji has sung a song there is girl tarannum she sung a song she is sung in ramleela sanjay leela bansali ji's film few other good hindi films so she sung uh, another num song so we have really really good music and i would really request all of you to go and uh, listen to the music on itunes and you guys will love it this film is being re uh, released by one of the most seasoned distributor in australia uh friends entertainment and vikas paul has been in this industry for quite so what is your expectation from vikas so you're being your distributor what do you want and uh, what is your expectation and you're happy with what he is doing see when when we talk about vikas ji i mean it's it goes the association with the uh, our family especially the olds the haram ji sani sir and everyone it goes all the way back to probably 30 40 50 years so you know when when you have that kind of association then expectations is not the question then you are just comfortable and you know that you have somebody who's your own and then that's it he's your he's the custodian he's not a distributor so it is that association with him what is your future plan after ramta jogi is there any other movies coming in or any other plans you have deep mm, i am working on two um, one is basically which is which is shaped up so it's based on uh, a very very famous singer in punjab he was called the elvis of uh, north yeah it's a true story so that one i'm going to start probably in sep september and uh, there's another film which is about a sports person and uh, that is again a true story so um, i mean content wise both the subjects are very very strong so that i'm going to be working later so these are the ones i'm working on at the moment sir any any message you want to pass on to your fans i know you you are this is your first movie but right. still you would like to say something to your uh, audience in australia um see first first of all i'm so proud of all of you you know you people have come here worked hard and then doing so so well it's really really difficult to be to leave your own motherland and your own people and then you know to do such good work so i'm proud of you guys second we come from india to promote our film in australia to be with you people means that there is something over here so you know i mean i i do i do acknowledge that and therefore i just want to request everyone please go watch my film it is out on the 14th of august and i need your support i need your help and i need your love thank you thank you deep for your time thank you vikas paul from friends entertainment for giving this interview i wish ramta jogi all the success nice meeting with you deep thank you very much thank you,